Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be running some gameplay on my uh, second account. Basically, my second account came because I started uh, I started playing Clash of Clans. And then when I started playing Clash of Clans, I was like, yo, I just wasted all of my gems. Let me get something else so I can get a builder. So when I got a builder, I got my second account and then I started playing uh, Clash Royale. So I had two accounts then. So now it's kind of coming in handy because I just uh, I started a second clan, and which I think I might be changing to digital esports in the future. Somebody on a on a group that I'm in like pitched the idea. They were like, "Hey, you should name them digital esports," and I think that's kind of cool because you see I can't manage all the clans myself. I'm at some point. I'm gonna have to let the people that are most active in those clans like take leadership so I don't want it to be like they're leading a clan and digital Alex is in there and they can't claim any ownership you know so I think the from now on if I make if I happen to make another clan which I think I will at the way it's going it looks like people are really looking to be a part of clans I think I'm gonna name it digital esports and then from there uh, I'll just I'll see where it goes. So I started uh, changing up my deck a little bit, which was my chipper deck. Now I'm actually starting to run a golem deck, and this golem deck, as you guys were watching on the screen, I was upgrading a lot of cards. Uh, both of these uh, gameplays that you're seeing on the screen, they're both golem runs. Now the guy on the left, uh, he's actually from Royal Savages, and him uh juan they kind of popped into my clan last night and i think it was they were kind of like i don't know they were like a little bored but they were also kind of looking you know just to chat or whatever so they popped into my clan they just kind of uh, uh hopped around clans a little bit last night it seems so they popped in and it's we just hung out chatted <laughs> and uh, so the game on the left is going to be against uh strike and the the one on the right was actual live gameplay which I actually don't win, you know? It's like, I noticed uh, there are people that will gem, and they'll have higher level cards, okay? But you see, gemming doesn't buy wins, okay? It's not win trading. You still have to learn how to place your cards, you still have to play properly. So even though I leveled up all of these cards right here, I'm running the golem deck, which is very strong, you see, I still got outnumbered, by this guy running a Lava Loon deck, which I normally would take down with my Chipper deck, but he ran a clone spell and, you know, I just, I couldn't pull it. So I couldn't pull it. And uh, so eventually I lose that game. With with playing You're So Bad, I actually, I don't know if he was kind of uh, going easy, but I ha we had the same level cards because this was like a friendly battle. And as you can tell, I can actually, I have a, a, even a strong, uh, a strong like presence with my cards you know it's like I can play against them and then when I run a defense against them with my cards they do just as well you know so I think strategy and gemming uh, together uh, probably will propel people up to the higher uh, tops but if you're just gemming and without any strategy I don't think it's it's not gonna it's, I don't think it's gonna work like, with my gameplay, I'm on the second. You see, I'm going to leave a few losses in here before you guys will see some wins. Um, but, you know, it's like I'm still learning how to respond to the deck. And I see the, the my chipper deck I've been playing for so long, for like two months now. Like, there were cards. Like, he was dropping balloons. I was like, yo, where's my musketeer? Where's my musketeer? You know, it's like because I'm so used to playing specific cards and having them as specific counters. It's like I'm not looking to something else that I just put in the deck you know so that's i think it's i think that's a problem i honestly think that's a problem because the way supercell uh at least clash royale works not i don't know about clash of clans but the way clash royale works lately is like they've been putting out new cards a lot and because they put these new cards out a lot you have to kind of adjust your gaming and your tactic to new cards you have to learn to adapt to new cards and defend new cards and because you have to learn how to defend new cards you constantly have to keep changing it so uh so that's what i'm noticing 
So on the right, uh, we're playing Alley Cat. She also kind of uh, took me down. Um, she started, she, I think her deck was a little bit cheaper than mine. Usually when I was playing my chipper deck, that gave me an advantage because mine was cheap, but it also had a, uh, a spawner uh, card, which was the uh, Goblin Hut. And uh, by the way, I'm actually, uh, I got some dried fruit I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I'm not like a huge proponent of like, I eat healthy, but I'm not out there like picketing, hey, you should eat other healthy, you know, but here, uh, these are dried fruits. These are, uh, this is a apricot and uh, basically it's a whole apricot that's dried, see? And I, I just, I split it in half, but I'm gonna try it. Really tasty. And these over here are dried uh, cranberries. I think how much were they? They were 608. 608. Anyway. So, uh, so uh, the game on the left is actually uh, Juan's gameplay. He was, uh, he has a new account too. And I think he, he was kind of like, hey, Alex, see if you could share this gameplay. I got really lucky in the gameplay. He was predicting gameplays. So I was like, sure, man, I'm going to put it in. One thing I want to say about Clash Royale and uh, multi-network games is you have a good opportunity to meet people, you know? Like, before I started playing this game, I wasn't really meeting a whole bunch of uh, gamers. Um, I was playing Pokemon Go in the summer, and I actually met a lot of people from that. But you see, if you're not playing Pokemon Go, you're not hanging out with these people, okay? But if I'm gonna be playing something online, I still have an opportunity to chat with somebody. Uh, we, we, we may not be in person, but it's still, you know, it's still people that you're being friendly with. Um, so they're kind of like, you know, people that you... So Alley Cat, we lost to her. She kind of, uh, she kind of outnumbered me there. So I couldn't really pull uh, too many wins with that deck. I ended up changing it last night. Um, I don't know what I put. I actually, I think I'm running a uh, a, uh, a Goblin Barrel uh, Rocket deck, which will, there will be a gameplay of that. So let's see, what is Juan doing over there? All right, so now he has two Pekos down. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, the guy just fireballed him. So now he puts, he has a predictive uh, log, but I don't think that guy has scar me, Juan. <laughs> so that, okay, so the uh, his opponent is throwing an angry mode. Uh, so it looks like he got him. It was just uh, six seconds uh, left in the game. Uh, the game on the right, we have, I'm um, playing against Andis. Actually, I was able to uh, beat this one uh, because I actually... Uh, got a little bit better with the gameplay as the evening progressed. So we're eventually gonna beat him with my golem and my musketeer. Uh, after you understand Clash of Clans, you're actually not gonna have a difficult time playing Clash Royale. Okay, a lot of the biggest pushes in Clash of Clans is designed behind a giant golem or lava hound. You put those cards out first, you gear all of the rockets and all of the uh, cannons, mortars, archers, uh, whatever uh, the base is built around, and then you put stuff behind, okay? So this is wh what I was trying to do here. I was trying to push a golem with a musketeer. You see, so now my musketeer is locking on to the uh, tower, and he's not getting harmed at all. And then my golem goes up. He's taking all the damage from both towers, mind you. And uh, that's... See, so so it's important to play, I think, both of the games. But if you don't play a Clash of Clans, you can still understand that uh, you can do just enough damage uh, by running... Uh, just learning off a of Clash Royale. So uh, that's...